of Ronzo's foundation in commemoration of the 2024 World Book Day scheduled for the first Friday in March with the team around the world in books. On March 7, 2024, held a annual program for primary school learners across Remo. The celebration commenced with the recitation of both the national anthem and the Ogun State anthem, fostering a sense of patriotism among the young attendees. Dignitaries in attendance are Radanwa of Idado, Isroya Aines, Obamusiliu Oriyomi Shuele. Mr. Babatunde Kalejaye, Head of Teacher General, Remo Division, Mrs. Angela, Head Teacher Wesley Tu Oko, Lisa of Idado, Yeye Oba, Otumba Ashelu, Mr. Shodipo, CMO Shagamu LGEA, representing the Shagamu LGEA Education Secretary, and many other distinguished personalities. The guest speaker of the day is Royal Highness Obamusili Uri Yomishoele in his address, passionately advocated for the integration of technology in primary school education, emphasizing its pivotal role in the ever evolving world. Across the difficult world, any world that you don't understand, what do you do? What do you do? Down and you show it to your teacher if you don't have a dictionary. You can also ask your mommy, or you can ask your daddy, or you can ask your uncle. Once you know that word, when you see it again, will it be difficult? No. So it becomes an easy word. So you have to learn new words when every day. So the essence of today is to tell you that you have to continue to read. And that the more books that you read, the better you become. He encouraged the learners to remain steadfast in their pursuit for knowledge, reminding them that readers are destined to become leaders. Some schools in attendance are Wesley School 1 and 2 Oko, St. Paul School Ijoku 1 and 2, African Church Primary School, Shokoya Memorial School Makun, St. Paul Primary School, Shimawa, School for Children with Special Needs, Makun, AUD Primary School, Isaleoko, Wesley Primary School, Soindo, UAMC, Eleja, and many others. The biggest highlight of the day was Mrs. Oladapo Oyebola Sulaimon, founder of Friends of Ronzo's Foundation, unveiling Obamusiliu Oriyomi Suele as the royal father of Friends of Ronzo's Foundation. <laughs>
she recounted her encounter with the king and appreciated him for how well he has been participatory in the development of the foundation. She also encouraged all learners in attendance, encouraging them to do more so they can be great in future. Educational games, drills, and competition were played and winners were given gifts ranging from dictionaries, study materials, mathematical sets, and even cash prizes. The event further solidifies the commitment of the Friends of Rosen's Foundation in promoting literacy and education among young learners. Through their tireless efforts, the Foundation continues to inspire and empower students in Shagamu and beyond. And I gladly accept the honor of being the Royal Father of the Foundation. Well, first and foremost, I think the parents should be more concerned about their children. You know, we should give more attention to our children and words. This is uh, this has always been the way it's been. You know, uh, our parents in the olden days they took time to train us and uh, bring out the best in us. So I want the parents to compliment the children activities of the foundation. I want them to give more attention to their children, pay for their school fees, ensure that they go to school, monitor them, make sure they do their own work buy books for them to read, encourage them about the better future and they give more attention and more concentration to the welfare of their children. It's joy that cannot be explained. However, every year we've improved on the process. So it makes it even more nicer seeing the children so happy. And then it motivates us for the next program. And that's what have actually motivated us over the years. The children are very grateful. It creates very fantastic memories for them. It motivates them to want to be more in the community in future. Just like the example of the bricklayer, the boy that said he wanted to be a bricklayer, all of a sudden now he knows he needs to be an engineer. So it's things like that that makes us know that we're actually on the right path. It actually takes a lot to prepare these programs. And I have to say this is just one of the little ones that we do out of the year, but it's still very fantastic. These children, I always call them my friends every time I go to their schools. So it's nice to bring all my friends together, knowing that we are creating an army for the future, and these children are going to be great in future. So yes, it's joy that cannot be explained. Basically, it's a teamwork. We believe that um, children spend more time in school. So that's why we actually take time to even visit them in their school environment. And then the teacher participates in some of our sessions. So they see the way we interact with the children, they see the creativity, they see how the children actually enjoy what, um, what we're doing. Now, um, parents are also very important too. All the students actually go back home to tell their parents this has happened in school today. So we hope that with that they know that their children um, can be great in future. I remember last year one of the parents actually called me and said thank you so much. Our child has never been celebrated the way she was celebrated yesterday. And yeah, things like that keep us very happy because we know we all have to work together as a team to ensure these children actually have a bright future. That's a very tricky question. So the next, we now are 31 schools and um, we're hoping to be in 36 by the end of the school year, but definitely at the start of September, we'll be in 36 schools. We hope that in the next few years, we'll reach all the children in Shagam local government, and that's up to 60. And at that point, we are zoning the children into different zones, which, we, which we've already done. We're hoping that from the experience we've had in the last five years, we'll be able to use it to encourage the children. But the good thing for me is, all the children are actually living in primary school now, and they are taking everything we are teaching them to secondary school. And in the next five years, that will be them coming out of secondary school again. And yes, the, the future is bright. You know that our readers are leaders, and um, the purpose of this book is to, of this event is to emphasize the importance and the benefit of reading. And that's why we have come together to celebrate World Book Day amongst these children in um, Shagam and Remo at large. So we want to um, make them understand the importance of reading. We buttress that they have to read day in, day out, as readers end up being re leaders. Uh, like I said, uh, like we all know, KBSC has always been available. I mean, most times when we talk, KBSC calls himself an active member of the team. And it's only expedient that we pick someone like that, as not only as the royal father of the foundation, as the father for all of these children. So seeing someone like that as being part of Friends of Ronson Foundation, gives them um, a literal sense 
of wanting to become someone better in the future. You know that the people that matters in the society, like KBS who are traditionally are active members of this, and seeing people like that attend is enough to create an awareness that they matter, and the people that are the leaders in the society count them as being um, as being integral members of the society. Um, honestly, um, this is just the beginning for you that are just joining us. Come May, we'll be having uh, um, the preliminaries for our quiz and spelling bee competition. Also in May, we'll be having the preliminaries and the qualifiers of our sports fiesta that will come up in July. Also in May, we'll be going around a number of schools, donating new school uniforms and mending their old ones. We call it school amendment, um, uniform amendment project. But some of these students still, um, they come with school with Tata uniform. In July, we'll be having the grand finale of the quiz and spelling bee competition. Also, we'll be having the sports fiesta at Gateway Stadium, where all of these students will come together. As you understand, I want all work, no play, make Jack a door boy. By, um, by September, October, we'll be having our Souls for Little Souls project, which is a school standard distribution project. Um, as of last year, we gave out over 2,000 pairs of school standards to all of these learners. And I mean, um, there are a lot of other ones coming up. Presently, we are discussing having a career day uh, for children, for them to understand the importance of having a career in life as well, understand what is going on. So, so we have a lot of programs in store for them. The message is that we want to advocate, want to educate and want to nurture the student into becoming um, um, a, 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 um, interesting people, wonderful people and interesting adults in the society and so that they can come together to build Nigeria at large.